what's up guys back in with another video uh last episode we learned about if statements and how they work and uh else if tree and all that kind of stuff so we can now use conditionals in our code but um within a if, if statement if you remember we have uh the condition itself right but uh, between the parentheses and what i said was that to use uh whatever that whatever we want to go in there it has to either return a boolean or be a boolean so let's uh, let me show you what I mean. So if we have a, ugh, I can't talk. If we have an if statement here, we'll have a string name equals Bob. It will say if name is equal to Bob and so equal and then we'll say not equal. Okay. So let's print that out. And see what happens. So it should uh, just be equal right because they're the same thing that's what it's doing it's a comparing operator so yeah they're equal so what goes in here has to either be a boolean or return a boolean that's what it's doing in this case this is returning a boolean so let me show you real quick what would happen if we just put it as a regular boolean so boolean true dude equals true so if we put true dude in here then it should also return equal because true so this is going to run and there you go. So yeah, it returns equal. So yeah, so that's how you do that. But um, so what I show you with the equal equal, that's a um, equal to operator, the equal equal. But we also have five other operators that we could use. It's uh, yeah, pretty cool. So we'll use the not equal. I'm not sure. I might have used this one out last episode too. So we'll say name is not equal to Sherry. Okay. So yep. So run that and. Uh, let's see. That should not be equal, right? Name is not equal to Sherry. Oh, it's true because, yeah, that makes sense. Because it's not equal to Sherry, so that's true. And you might get confused, but it's right because name is not equal to Sherry. It's not the same thing, so it is true. But if we change this to Bob to the same thing, then it is equal to Bob, so it's not going to be true. So it's just going to run the else statement, not equal. Okay? So don't get confused. Just play around with it. So the next one we could do, um, this is more for numbers. So int um, num1 equals 5, int num2 equals 10. So if num1 is uh, bigger than num2, then you say uh, bigger. But if it's smaller, say smaller. So let's run that and see what happens. Then we get smaller because num1 is definitely not bigger than num2. It's 5 is not bigger than 10. Hopefully you know that. So if we change this to less than, which is the, this is the uh, fourth uh, operator here that we got. These are relational operators. I don't know if I said that already. But yeah, so this is the fourth one. It's bigger because 10 is indeed bigger than 5, and that's true now. So that's good. But we have two more. So we have the greater than or equal to operator. So this will be pretty simple. So greater than or equal to, so 5. I'll set this to both be equal, equal 10. So we, the condition will, right here, it'll say num1 is greater than or equal to to num2. And um, yeah, so it is equal to, so it'll be valid. It'll say bigger. <clears throat> and yeah, so that's that. And then uh, we have less than or equal to also. Pretty simple. So we get bigger also because it's still equal no matter what. So, I mean, that's simple. So let's um, go back over it. I mean, these were pretty simple. So relational operators. So I recommend you leave this note here for yourself. So that's equal to, oops. I will just comment it after, equal to. Then you have the, I can't do that, that's weird. Not equal to. Then you have, Eh, this is getting annoying. I'll just use a comma here. Okay. Then we have the greater than, less than, oops, gotta put the sign here. Then we have the greater than or equal to, or less, oops. Uh, less, can't spell, oh my gosh. 
So we'll copy this here and we'll comment it out. So there we go, there's a little note. So now we can type them out. Oh no, we already did. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's how you do that. It's really simple. It's just returning Booleans for each of these. It's just gonna compare to uh, variables basically. You can also do it with numbers like I showed a little bit, you know, 34 or something like that and you run it. And uh, yeah, so you get bigger because uh, 10 is indeed smaller than 34, like it says here. But uh, before I go, I'm gonna show you some the um, the and and or thing like we went over before. So let's say we want to do this, but uh, the less easier way, right? We could do that, and we could say and or no or num1 is equal to 34. So that's the same thing as having what I just had. It's checking to see if it's either smaller than 40, 34 or equal to 34. So if you run that. It's indeed smaller than 34, so it's still going to be bigger. But if we have and, it's going to be false because it doesn't meet both these conditions. It's not also equal to 34. It's only this one. But since we learned that a few episodes ago, we know how that works. So it's going to be smaller. So yeah, that's just an example. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little episode. Leave a like if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I'll help you. And yeah, so leave a um, sub if you want to see some more videos. I'll be dropping some more every day pretty much. And peace.